Taylor, a college counselor here to answer your questions and help you on your financial aid journey. Wondering how you complete the FAFSA form if your parent is a non-citizen? Even if your parent is not a U.S. citizen, it's still important for students who are U.S. citizens or eligible non-citizens and who plan to attend college, career school, or trade school to complete the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA form. Your parent's citizenship status doesn't affect your eligibility for federal student aid. But if you're a dependent student, at least one parent will still be identified as a contributor and will be required to participate on your 2024-25 FAFSA form. This means you will need to provide their name, date of birth, email address, and social security number, if they have one, on the form to invite them to complete their required section. In order to fill out their section and sign the FAFSA form electronically, your parent, like all FAFSA form contributors, will need their own student aid DACA account. Starting in December 2023, if your parent doesn't have a social security number, they can create an account to complete the required section of the 2024-25 FAFSA form. Make sure to watch our How Do I Create a Student Aid.gov Account If I Don't Have a Social Security Number video to learn more. After logging in and beginning their required section of the form, your parent will need to provide consent and approval to have their federal tax information transferred directly from the IRS into the FAFSA form. This consent and approval is required even if your parent doesn't have a social security number didn't file taxes, or filed taxes outside of the United States. After your parent provides their consent and approval, the required information in the parent section of the FAFSA form and their signature, if no additional information is required, your form can be submitted. If you have more questions about the FAFSA process, visit studentaid.gov.